Good day, folks. Welcome back to another day tripping episode. Um, for episode two, Rob and I are headed out to another uh, local Kamloops Lake, not too far from home. Um, we're off to a bit of a late start. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Um, but we're going to go head up, see what we can find. Um, we're still kind of in that uh, transition time uh, between fall and uh, uh, summer. So we're, as I said in the previous video, we're kind of trying to make things happen. They're not quite there yet. So we'll go see what we can find. Uh, day of fishing is much better than a day on the couch. So stay tuned and we'll see how we make Okay, that. so we didn't make it to the first lake. Uh, um, actually, we kind of did. We got to the boat launch, but then we got a phone call. Uh, that said there was an afternoon hatch happening uh, oh, about an hour and a half away on the completely other end of town. Uh, so where are we? Yeah, we're driving into that lake now. We like bugs, and if there's hatches, we're going to go chase them. So, still going to make the video, still going to put things together. We, hopefully there's something happens. Cross your fingers. Let's uh, see what happens. See you guys in a bit. All right, folks, so we have made it on the water. Um, we have a little bit of info that we're kind of going on. I feel like we've got just some weeds on the bottom here. I don't think those are fish. Um, we have noticed a couple shucks on the water. So to me, that's a weed patch. Um, it's difficult to read these things sometimes, but I'm pretty confident to say that that's a weed patch. So. Um, sometimes the shallower you go, the narrower your cone angle is too, so you can't always rely on the electronics, but um, we're going to go tour around, look for some bugs, see if we can get set up on something, and hopefully the next time you see us back, we're hooked up to a fish. take long there it is first cast found some fish found some bugs matched it up <laughs> so we were able to grab a couple of the adults off the surface and uh, to get an idea on color the classic static bag seems to be what they're after anchored in about 20 feet and uh, Rob chucked her out and let it drift and it, Actually, he didn't even catch that one. Um, the rod one. holder. Rod holder got that one. Yeah. Got to give Rod his credit where credit's due, you see? And... Here he comes. Not bad for the first fish on the new to us lake. There it is. Pretty good. So we'll do the usual, I think. Get a sample just to confirm. I think we're probably on the right thing, but we'll just double check here. I like to do this under the water. <laughs> what do we got? We got a mix of exactly got pretty much what I've got on. And That's a couple blood worms. Static and red. There it is. Blood worms showing that they're on the bottom. That's exactly where I'm fishing, by the way. So there's the story. Let's, Let's see the fish. Okay, okay. Very nice. nice, solid few pounds. Back she goes, fresh as a daisy. All right, we're on them. We're gonna get back at it 
I think we may make a micro adjustment on the boat here just to get exactly where we want to be. But we'll throw a couple casts first and uh, that's the good stuff. There it is. Fall is coming soon, folks. All right, I'm gonna go get another one. Back in a bit. Hey, folks, welcome back. <laughs> um, so, been a bit of an interesting afternoon. Um, this is probably our third or fourth spot of the day. Um, very similar depth of water. Um, but the fish kind of give themselves away here. We had two move about 50 yards to the right of the boat. And we followed some bugs over here. And I threw the bobber out. And uh, we were just chatting away. And the rod holder did a good job. And hooked this beautiful rainbow. So, we are... Got him cranked down pretty good, and he's still taking drag. Nothing really changed. We're still on the cron thing. Um, similar depth to before. This is a, a pretty run-of-the-mill static bag pattern. Rob's played with a few more other things. I cannot get this guy up. They're taking the den, what? Ooh. Then it is. There he is. There he is. Oh, he's a good sized fish. Yes. Yeah, you might have beat the 23 mark there. It might be 24, maybe not. Hard to tell in the water. Not so back. Where's the other There we go. Yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. That's a beautiful fish. There we go. Okay, so safety first. We've cleared the deck and uh, this fish is revived and ready to go. So I'll just pull him out and give you guys a look. Super nice, healthy fish. See you later. Okay, well, <laughs> Brandon's taking pictures. His bobber takes a dunk. I grab the camera. My bobber list line takes a dunk, and now we got a couple <laughs> piglets on the go. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, need to put the phone down. Pause. Okay, we'll try to get this beauty on the video. Okay, good. Pump here still. Okay. Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay, that's one. Beauty. Okay, I'm oh, gonna give you the. Over. Oh, this guy's taking off. I got a while yet on this one. Switch. Okay. I think we got her figured out. So it looks like we might need a cameraman. Any volunteers? Yeah. Send us a message. Probably <laughs> one that wants to we can swap. So we can learn to fish. And teach us how to take pictures. Yeah, that's good. We'll we'll do that swap. We'll teach you how to catch these, and you teach us how to not film like idiots. <laughs> this is a good one here, by the way. Let's see if we can have double fatsos. This guy's coming. Oh, we got a couple twinsies. Oh! <laughs> Now that's a full Moby right there. Okay, we're gonna get these. Actually, I can let Rob take over fish duties now. Safety first. See, here he is. Clear the deck. Okay. Well, that was interesting. More chaos. That doesn't happen very often, does it? We love the chaos around here. Well, we're not using the same techniques either. So Rob has uh, been casting a naked line. Um, I think he explained what he was doing with that earlier. So just casting crosswind, letting it drift. Um, I had a bobber out and was uh, trying to take some pictures of our last sample. And my bobber just went boom and buried and started peeling out of the rod holder. So you don't even have to hang on to the rods. Look at 
right now, but these are like that's a couple 20, 1, 22. That's thick, man. Thick, beautiful Kamloops bows. They are absolutely gorgeous fish. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very nice. Biggest was about 23 inches. And uh, the other one's not far behind. One and two. Off they go. Okay, so just got the line back out there after that last fish. Using the wind, casting crosswind, setting the rod in the rod holder. That wind will tighten everything up nicely. By the time it tightens it up, I'm hoping my leader sinks all the way to the bottom. And then as the line continues to move through the wind, it should be moving that chronomet perfectly along the bottom. And if everything goes as planned, <laughs> oh, try it. <laughs> They are scrappy, aren't they? Uh oh. We got an anchor fish. Oh, my fat fingers are in the. There it is. Sort of, kind of. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Have you changed yet? Nope. On that one. Okay, so we were discussing a fly change because we uh, had gone probably 15 minutes or so since the last fish. I went a little bit bigger. Rob was contemplating a change, but let's see. Looks like. By the looks of this, we are pretty bang on. There's a couple darkies in here, but. 80% of them are shiny, so Rob's just going to clear the deck here. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> what are you using? Okay, folks. So I kind of just wanted to review the gear again. Um, so we're doing a similar thing to the last video. If you saw that, um, you'll know we're running the same setup today. So we've got this HR8. And a nine foot six weight, uh, the Arbor XL reel, and then the Rio Stillwater floater. Um, so we've been fishing back and forth a few different uh, techniques today. I'm going back to the indicator uh, right now. So being that the gear was kind of the same, I thought I'd just show you how we set this up. Um, so I've got about 20 feet of um, fluoro tied on here, and I just tie it with a clinch knot to the loop at the end of the um, fly line. And then I take the bobber, I'm putting the, so the um, peg is, is towards my fly. And then uh, somewhere over here, we have got, I've got about 18 inches, maybe two feet of um, tippet material. And then I've just got a swivel that I'm tying on to my leader. <clears throat> swivel for me just acts as a little bit of weight. Um, it's a break off point and uh, I usually save my bobber if I break off. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm set up and I'm just going to set my depth. So if you don't use electronics, then a pair of these will be your friend. Um, if you do, then these will still be your friend because what you can see is as I drop down, I can set that thing I wanted at 14 feet. Okay, I peg it right there. 16 feet, peg it there. 18 feet, peg it there. You can really, really um, get precise with your depth uh, because you can see, you know, you want it six inches off the bottom. 
all right let's set there right so it's pretty easy so now i'll just come up a little bit i'm going to hang this i kind of want it about 18 feet so i'm going to come up just a bit and then drop it to where my bobber is touching the water bingo 18 feet and you know you are right in that depth zone where those fish are and that is the biggest key to catching these things is to put your fly in front of them so that's how you set up the bobber give it a shot if you haven't let us know how it does for you i don't know what are you doing over here i don't know i got him at 10 and he's way the hell gone so it's not it's unfortunate i didn't have the camera on this because this is a fatso he come out of the water and he looked round. <laughs> Shaking you up. Yeah. Just when you think you can gain on them a little bit, they just turn and burn. That's just a little porker. Hey. There we go. Not yeah. long, but holy is yeah. that. You're wrong. <laughs> nice. And we're on the move. Why? Um, well, because <laughs> we're trying to find more of that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe the fish, we're going to go right back where we were. The fish had kind of dried up at the spot we were at. Um, and so basically, you can always go back to a spot. So if we feel like we're no longer in bugs and in fish, which we didn't, we always go have a look. Um, if you're catching and you don't see anything, who cares? Just sit there. But if you're not catching, then it's it's oftentimes worth it to go for a ride, see if there's a stronger hatch somewhere, see if there's more localized fish somewhere. And uh, as I said, you, if you don't find anything and you feel where you were is your best shot, then uh, go back to where you were. You can always go back to a spot, but if you sit there, you could be missing a whole lot more somewhere else. So just something to keep in mind. So I'm just over here. My end of the boat, minding my business, watching my bobber, doing my things, and all of a sudden there's this ruckus at the front. Hey, what's going on up there? Busted me off. Snapped. Top knot. Snapped clean. So, <laughs> if anything I can share so that it doesn't happen to other people, check your knots on a regular basis. I know it's tough when you're catching lots of fish, but you get a... You get Walter on the end, and you're gonna wish you checked it. Anyhow, tie him back up. Get back out there. So this one was pretty much. I was walking it in, thinking about stopping because it was pretty close to the boat. I thought, no, you know what? We saw a couple right under the boat, so kept walking it, and sure enough, smash right at the boat. And I haven't seen him. He hasn't run. He's dogging me. I thought he was a little on the smaller side at first because he didn't go anywhere, but... Yeah, I thought so at first, but I cannot... <laughs> it. He's just giving me the head shakes. I don't think it's a little one, fella. I don't know. Maybe I'll hook him with an uncle. Might have a tiger by the tail. Not with that take, no, I don't think. Was, like, he, nice, this is a. I think the next cast he robbed after he retied because he was snapped off. Maybe you'll get your fly back. <laughs> hey, no, wouldn't be the first time that happened. That would be awesome. Curious. Okay. Oh, pup right there. and there he is, right down there. Long line release. We still got to fly this time. Right. Everybody's happy. Don't have to get my hands wet. There we go. Recast, repeat. So pretty much the same thing. So I'll see if I can get some redemption for the first time this happened. He's snapping off right at the boat. Second walk in after tying on. Hooked him up again right at the boat. Lost him. Three times lucky, maybe. <laughs> this guy's going full circle. Come on. Man, are they scrappy fish. Yeah. Oh, he's going to the bottom. Come on. They don't like to move <laughs> kind of on their terms for the first few minutes. Of <clears throat> there, he comes. there he is. Nice fish again. Oh, oh. I saw Brandon's face. Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <Touché. Touché. laughs> oh, okay. 
Come on, baby. There we go. Up, up, up. Okay. It's hard to do the camera and the net thing at the same time. They are super strong for their size. Yeah. This is not as chunky as the other ones. Maybe even a bit shorter, but what a scrap. Oh, just a quick sample. We haven't done one for a while. Okay. Okay. Darkies? Uh, about 50-50 yeah, now, 50 /50. so they're moving off the shine back yeah. to the dark. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's look at that guy. I think he's ready to go. Right, boat. There it is. They're all about the same today. That's Yeah, that's probably closer smaller. to 20, that one. A yeah, couple inches smaller. shorter, but... Let's see what the moldy is. Nope, let's not see what the moldy is. <laughs> okay. Okay, surprise, surprise, Rob's on another fish. We were uh, we were thinking about maybe wrapping it up. It's uh, probably 4.30 or 5 o'clock. Size is down there. And um, so the bigger fish that we were getting earlier seemed to have gone away, and these last two have been a little on the smaller side. So the big guys got their fill, and the stragglers are trying to get what's left over. Um, but... All in all, it was a pretty good day, so we can't really complain. A cool little boat to end the day. There it is. Oh. <laughs>